educational goals are to raise cyber awareness in 10 million citizens worldwide. And that seems like a very daunting goal. And I, th I think we're doing a great job so far. So what does that mean? We're raising awareness of cybersecurity threats and solutions, promoting safe and responsible online behavior to citizens at all levels. And when I mean all levels, I'm starting with very young children all the way through uh, senior citizens and professional graduate degree programs uh, in between. And building capacity for the protection of the global information infrastructure. So how will we do all of this? Well. We have quite a list here of uh, things that we are currently doing. Uh, one of them is My Secure Cyberspace, uh, and that includes a portal for home users and a game and website for children. And if you haven't had the opportunity yet, we have a demo outside in the atrium uh, for you to demo the game and take some materials uh, home with you. We also offer professional graduate degree programs through the Information Networking Institute and we have pamphlets on the outside table as well for those of you interested in that. Uh, transnational partnership programs with universities around the world. Uh, we offer the NSF Cyber Corps program, um, the scholarship for service, which many of you have probably heard of. We've graduated 113 students to date, and uh, those students are currently serving in uh, federal capacity of some sort, either through an FFRDC or an, a federal agency. Um, for the first time, we offered the DOD Information Assurance Scholarship Program this year. And uh, for eight years now, we have been offering the NSF-funded Information Assurance Capacity Building Program for faculty for minority-serving institutions. And then we offer the Safe and Cyberspace class for older citizens. And I'll get into each one of these in more detail. I'm going to start with My Secure Cyberspace. And this was inspired uh, by the President's National Strategy to Secure Cyberspace. We, be we began development on this initiative probably in late 2004 um, and launched uh, a, a, a group of activities since then. But the goal is to empower users to secure their part of cyberspace, and it targets different uh, age groups uh, from young children through parents and educators. Uh, I'm just going to start with this little video to give you a sense of something that we're currently working on for teens.
So that gives you a glimpse of the types of problems we're encountering and the evolution of usage um, by tweens and teens. And many of you are aware of this because you work in technology companies. But here at Scilab and the Information Networking Institute, we're developing initiatives to address these sort of problems. This is actually going to be featured on WQED's uh, website. We've, um, we're actually announcing a partnership with PBS and the local affiliate uh, WQED on Monday. Uh, starting with web-based information, web-based resources, and then um, webisodes, and then uh, TV interstitials using the characters from the game that you'll see in a little bit. So I talked about the portal. So we have a um, basically a website, mysecurecyberspace.com, that provides information to users of all ages and all levels. And I'll, I'll go through the types of information that you can access there. The Carnegie Cyber Academy for grades three through eight, and the game, the Carnegie Cadets and the My Secure Cyberspace game for um, grades three through six. So why teach cybersecurity? We did a study a couple years uh, ago, and, and you know we found some interesting statistics. 54% um, said they felt that their home computer was safe from online threats. Um, most use the internet for email browsing and online shopping, but only 20% deem these activities risky. And 50% of parents um, cited they, that they didn't need tools to monitor their, their kids' online activity. But I guess the most surprising result was um, most people aren't aware of the, the, of the risks they're exposed to, but even when you make them aware, they still don't uh, take the appropriate measures to protect themselves and their family. So one, one approach uh, for home users that we've developed is the My Secure Cyberspace portal. And it, it really equips or empowers users to take control of a situation. It provides users with information that they're encountering at a particular point in time. And why uh, we, we named this My Secure Cyberspace, so it's drawn from the President's uh, national strategy, the 2003 national strategy to secure cyberspace. Where in it, the President said each citizen is responsible for securing his or her own part of cyberspace. And I interpreted that to be what I'm doing online and where I'm doing it from. So these variables you know, create very different circumstances. And this uh, has a very, the MySecure Cyberspace portal has a very complex um, backend um, engine that generates uh, web pages for users on demand given these various variables. Um, some of the topics included, and these are just uh, a sampling of, of topics. Um, and we have feature articles, case studies, problems and solutions, tools, encyclopedia, news and alerts. This is updated on a daily basis. We have thousands of chunks of information on there, and uh, people can register accounts and, and um, subscribe to RSS feeds and have this be their portal for cybersecurity uh, information. It's used by school districts to train teachers. It's been used by the FBI and other community groups. And it's a great resource that we will continue to um, maintain and develop. So some statistics, uh, more than a million visitors have uh, visited the site since 2005, including 30% um, international visits. So about 105 different countries have accessed it. So a glimpse of the types of traffic. Um, direct traffic is about 48%. And the most visited articles, an online shopper's guide to security practices. We put this up around the holidays. Should your child have a cell phone? And green computing and privacy practices. We have more than 350 articles and 200 encyclopedia entries. And we encourage you, all of you who are interested in online safety or have websites focused on this, to link to our uh, website as well.